Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I am charging up this, uh, this bank that I used to test the, uh, the full capacity. Uh, I, I made a video on this earlier, you should check it out. I'll go ahead and just put it right up here somewhere. Uh, but we, we found out that this bank, which consists of a 200 amp hour, a 50 amp hour, and a 100 amp hour battery, even though they're all different amp hours, they're all 12 volt, they're all lithium iron phosphate, this bank does equate to 350 amp hours. But it does look a little confusing. Anyway, this video isn't about that. Because what I'm doing right now is I'm charging it with a 75 amp charger. And I kind of wanted to show you uh, where all the amperage is going in this bank. Because some people said, well, what happens if you charge this bank with like a higher amperage? Um, and this, this time USB 50 amp battery, um, it can only accept up to 50 amps. That's a 1C rate for this battery uh, before the BMS would shut it off. But I felt confident that that BMS in the 50 amp hour battery was never going to see 75 amps coming out of this charger. So let me show you uh, some things on a worksheet that I made just to kind of give you an understanding and a base of what's going on over here. Okay, I made this worksheet right here. I was going to do a screenshot, but I just wanted to get it done. So let's look over here. What this is, this is the amp hours and the total capacity of this bank. 350 amp hours is the total capacity of the bank. And what we have is a 200 amp hour battery, a 100 amp hour battery, and a 50 amp hour battery. Now if you look over here, the total amp hours is 100% of the bank. So 350 is 100% of the total bank. 200 is 57% of the total bank. 100 is 29% of the total bank and 50 amp hours is 14% of the total 350 amp hour bank. So now over here is the batteries and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the charging amperage, the total charging amperage, and then I'm going to fill in how much each battery is getting and we're going to see what the comparison is between these two percentages. So let's go ahead and find out the amperage of the charger right now. Okay, here is our charger. It's a 75 amp charger and we are getting 75.4, 75.5. We're gonna do everything, we're gonna round everything. So let's just say 75. So charger is 75 amps. And then that equates to 100% right there. So let's go ahead and figure out what the 200 amp hour battery is accepting. And the way we're gonna do that is that we know 75 amps is going through this cable and whatever is leaving this cable, we need to subtract this from this and that's what this battery is accepting. Okay, so here is what we're getting right here. This is 29.7.8, so we're just gonna say 30 amps. So how, how to figure out what this battery is accepting is you subtract 30 from what the total is. So 75 minus 30 equals 45 amps is what's going into this battery right here. So let's put in our equation, let's put 45 amps. Okay. Okay. And now in this cable, which is what is left after the battery has gone through this battery and the 50 amp battery, what's left is 21.6. So let's go ahead and say, I mean, should we go and let's just say, let's just say 22. So we're going to say the 100 amp battery is getting 22 amps. And then at the bottom, that is the remaining amp hours that's going into the 50 amp battery. And look over here. You can see that 75 amps of charge is 100%. The 45 amps of charge that's get, that, that the 200 amp hour battery is receiving is 60%. Now look how close that is to the 57%. And then 
the 22 amps that the 100 amp hour battery is receiving is 29%. And look at that, 29%. So these numbers completely match up. I mean, the, the bigger battery is getting a little bit more and the smaller battery is getting a little bit less. But you can see that the percentages, you know, the percentage of the battery compared to the full bank is basically the same percentage as what the, what the charge of the battery is receiving compared to the total charge. And I really found that interesting. I did not really think that the percentages were gonna be that close. And they could have been off by a little bit because of cabling or wire loss or just anything. Resistance in the battery. But anyway, that really does go to show that there is a positive correlation between the size of the battery in amp hours comparative to the total bank capacity and the total amps of charge compared to the size of the battery. So I just really wanted to show everyone that. I thought it was really neat. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.